What is the best PEMF machine for cardiovascular health? Um, well, there's, I guess, to go back to cause. That's the most important thing. What's causing the problem? And the, co the problem typically, most of the time, is lifestyle. It's diet and other lifestyle factors. Stress, it could be genetics. You could say, well, blame it on my genes, blame it on my ancestors. Um, but that's not the right answer. You have to do something in your life right now to, to deal with the problem. But if you're advanced in your cardiovascular disease, then you need extra help. And PEMF therapy can be uh, very helpful for that. You can treat the heart locally if you have vascular disease of the heart, if you have blocked blood vessels in the heart. If you have uh, arrhythmias, magnetic field therapy directed to the heart can be very helpful. And again, there's inf in information in my book, uh, Power Tools for Health, that could help you with that. Vascular disease in general is caused by endothelial dysfunction. Endothelium is the inside lining of the, what, of the blood cell. It's very active, very dynamic. Inflammation there causes the buildup of plaque. And that, the buildup of plaque is what causes blockages of blood vessels. So medicine says, well, if you have a high cholesterol, then that's the cause, that's the culprit. A high cholesterol is the result of inflammation in the blood vessels. And the inflammation in the blood vessels, most of the time, is being caused by lifestyle. The biggest problem, most of the time, is not the fats in your diet. The biggest problem, most of the time, is carbs, the carbohydrates in your diet. You have to control those. You want to get your A1C under 5.7, you ideally, you should have it around 5.2, 5.3. And if you don't, then you're building vascular disease. Magnetic field therapy applied to the whole body for whole body magnetic therapy. So if you, have, if you want to condition your whole body system, this is part of the anti-aging solution, then you need a strong enough magnetic field to help the linings of the inside, the inside linings of the blood vessels to decrease inflammation. If it's a local problem, if you have peripheral vascular disease, um, then you, you can treat locally to get more aggressive treatment. Uh, again, there you're going to need a higher intensity magnetic therapy system. So vascular disease anywhere, the brain, carotids, the heart, the kidneys, the, the entire body, magnetic field therapy is great. One of the things magnetic therapy does is it increases something called nitric oxide. Nitric oxide causes the blood vessels to, to open up. So it decreases inflammation, but it also increases nitric oxide. So it actually helps you to pump blood better. So that's what causes improvements in circulation in general. So if you have compromised blood flow because you've got blocked blood vessels, then magnetic therapy opens those blood vessels a bit more and improves the circulation. In the long run, you've got to get rid of the blockages. And again, lifestyle and magnetic field therapy can help to do that. But it's not going to happen overnight. It, it takes time to have that work for you. The Russians, uh, in my, one of my original books, Magnetic Therapy in Eastern Europe, a review of 30 years of research, um, had a number of uh, cardiovascular uh, treatments or, or as studies that have been done showing how PMS could be very, very helpful. If you have angina, um, now we have other treatments for angina these days, but back then, if you had nitro nitroglycerin, that's the primary treatment for it. Um, but even if you're still using these other nitrites or nitrates to help to open up the circulation, magnetic field therapy is very helpful for that. There's a risk. If you have chest pain that's due to blocked blood vessels and constricted, and the, and the heart's not pumping properly, magnetic therapy can be so effective, you'll rely on that and not do what you need to do. So there is that risk. But once you know what you have going on and you, you're under proper care, then applying magnetic field, ther field therapies to your heart can be very help, helpful in reducing inflammation, increasing the ability of the heart to work. So you could actually increase your workload and the heart will work better because magnetic field therapy increases the pump action of the, blood, of the muscles of the heart and it increases mitochondrial um, production, ATP production in the heart. And one of the organs that, in the body that uses ATP the most is the heart and the, and the other one is the brain. But if you can help the heart to function better, it uh, would help with um, congestive heart failure. Very, very helpful for congestive heart failure. Again, not as a sole solution, but can be very, uh, very useful there.